Hi, this is Michael from TeensTech.com, and here I'm going to do a little quick update on Froyo 2.2, uh, which is the new Android, right after Eclair. On here is a Nexus One. Now, uh, there was pretty, there's some pretty cool updates on this compared to the Eclair, and uh, they do stand out a lot. Now, the lo one of the largest updates right here is on the home page, which is these this new taskbar down at the bottom that has uh, the phone button right next to it and the browser. You don't have to use space on your home screen to add those applications. Uh, you're also now able to do this and have those bars now by just holding down onto the uh, task button rather than these two little dots. Now another update on the home screen is when you click search it now brings up this new screen which uh, now you can choose which search option you'd like, such as applications, contacts, web, or everything. And it's pretty helpful when you want to choose what you want to look at. Uh, another update would be in the market. And uh, this is, you want to click an application that I have, let's say Astro. You can see comments now on the right side. You can decide if it is a uh, spam or if it's not and try to help the developer and help Google. Uh, and that's pretty cool. And also there's now automatic updating which is now allows you to uh, have the app update automatically through the system without having you to do anything with it. And also, uh, when you go into downloads, right now, you'd in 2.1, you'd have to click update for each one. Well, now you just can say update all. And that's pretty helpful when you're in a hurry. You just want to spend the time updating your AD apps so you have to update. Uh, another update that Google had is that they are now... Uh, doing a syncing of your media from your computer wirelessly to your phone, and that's pretty cool. I don't have that right now because uh, I guess this bill that I have doesn't have that, uh, but it's because they purchased a company called Simplify Media, which allows for this to happen, and it's mainly streaming from your iTunes, and it only streams songs that are DRM-free, but that because that's just the lawsuit issues. But it's still, I think that's a pretty cool thing. You can now just throw away your iPod and just use your phone. Another update would be the camera application, which needed a lot of improvement. Rather than having the settings on the right on right on the left side where you drag it out, it is now integrated on the right side bar. Where you can now click daylight, flash, and so like that. You can now also choose what how high quality you would like your video to be depending on where you are putting the video. And that is very helpful. Uh, also, in the gallery app, you are now able to uh, in the within the gallery app, you can now actually like kind of skim into each file by doing a little drag out, and you kind of see oh what exactly is in this pile, and that's pretty cool. They kind of copied what the iPhone is doing or the iPad is doing in their photo album, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, also, you now have a, a new car home screen and this is things rather than having a little car kind of a uh, curve they now just have these little boxes that it will soon to be ed editable as you can see there's some empty squares so there must be some use for that though I'm not too sure quite yet uh, another little update would be on the home screen uh, you can now there's now this new uh, little widget that is that has a little uh, tips for you to use if you click in he tells you six different tips, and you can just put them right away. Uh, also, the widget for settings. Before, there were three different settings for brightness, and that was dark, medium, and light. But now there's also an auto, which is this auto, and that's really helpful because otherwise you have to go to menu, settings, brightness, and then you choose that there rather than, rather than on the home screen. Let's see, uh, another update would be uh, the Gmail app. But you can now go back and forth like this. Just go back and forth between each email. And also, there are a bit different settings down here. Also, there are, pretty, there are new enterprise features on 2.2, which I don't really care about because I'm not enterprise. But for big companies, it'll be a big improvement if they are using the phone. And within the settings, they're also a bit and just more things like now they now they separated sound and display rather than putting those two together also for set up a screen lock there are four different ways you can either do a pattern password a pin or nothing and that rather than just a pattern 
And the main problem with the pattern was that if you were to wipe the screen and shoot, do your little pattern, uh, 10 minutes later somebody found your phone, they would see where you swiped from smudges and then that would be practically useless. Uh, so that is, those are the main updates that Google did. It all, now the phone comes with Twitter built in and everything is integrated with Twitter as it is with, uh, uh, as it is with Facebook. And that's, that's, the, that's what they did in the last update. And also, uh, Google announced that they're going to have an online market where you can click install on your computer and it wirelessly goes to your phone. And also, within the maps on your computer, if you click send to phone an address, it'll send it straight to your phone. And uh, that's that. And also, within the YouTube, they add this little thing where rather than when you click menu settings, high quality. Now in the bottom right corner they just show high quality. Now there's no difference in quality except for when you do when you choose not high quality it's a lot lower resolution than it is when you choose not high quality on the uh, old 2.1. And, um, and the reason this is good is because now when you're in a very low data uh, center pretty much where you're on edge and you need and you really have slow internet and you want to watch a video fast without waiting an hour for it to load now you're able to do that but with lower resolution of video but I'm fine with that and now the last which is the largest update is uh, the speed of the phone itself if I can find Linpack uh, which is a very good benchmarking uh, applications now if I click run benchmark it just got 33 megaflops in that, and I just tried the Incredible, and I got six mega flops. So that is about six times faster than the Incredible and the other Nexus one. And that's the large improvement. How Froyo is so efficient with its energy and all that. Now uh, I forgot the other update that they did was within applications. You can do uh, there are many different options up here. Now there's running all and on the SD card, and now you can just like uninstall them very easily stop applications, you want to say I don't want the camera to be running, force stop. And they also made the browser, they said it's two times faster, I don't think so, but it is faster than the iPhone and the Incredible and the iPad, I've tested them all separately. And the last update, which I think actually is the biggest, is Flash. As you can see, it's playing a CNET video online, and I just chose a new video. If I, see if I, sorry. Uh, now with the whole flash, you it actually is really flash. If you double tap, it does a little uh, zoom in, and also you can do full screen, which and it actually is really smooth. I can see it. It's high quality. It's smooth, and you might as well be on a computer rather than on flash fl uh, light four, which is on the uh, incredible and is on the uh, all HTC Sense phones. This is just way beyond. It's this is lightning speed compared to that. And those are the main updates. I have to say, if I find anything else, I will definitely uh, post another video. But as of now, this is 2.2, and uh, this is Michael from TeensTech.com. See you later.